Time for a book haul. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got a book haul for you. Some books that have been released that we have purchased, some that have been sent to us from publishers, thank you. And uh, yeah, pretty much we got a nice little list of books here that we're excited to have gotten. We'll have the uh, podcast link down below if you want to check that out. We do have a little clip of the Gabby Reads episode that is going to be coming out this Monday. Make sure you check that out. It's like a little sneak preview of how it went and uh, pretty much the conversation. Pretty fun. All right, guys. So I forgot to mention in the intro that I am still selling my Cemetery Dance Stephen King books. We had them originally in a set for like $3,500 for all seven of them. Uh, we are also going to be selling them individually. So check them out. And again, negotiable prices. So let us know. And uh, now back to the video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the books. All right, the first one up is one that was released in March, and that was Nine Lives by Peter Swanson. Uh, I've read two books by this author, The Kind Worth Killing and Every Value Break. Uh, Every Value Break was okay, and uh, The Kind Worth Killing was pretty good. And so I've got some really high hopes for this one. The blurb says... Uh, from the New York Times bestselling author of Eight Perfect Murders comes the heart-pounding story of nine strangers who receive a cryptic list with their names on it and then begin to die under highly unusual circumstances. So that sounds very cool to me, and I actually really cannot wait to get to this. Also, that cover looks really, really sick. Uh, just looks really cool. And I'm very excited to get to this. So hopefully I read this soon. I'm in the middle of one book, which we'll show you because I'm in the middle of it and we got it. So... Uh, but yeah, this one looks cool, and I can't wait to get to it. Nine Lives, Peter Swanson. Next up is The Ravenous Dead by Darcy Coates. This is the sequel to The Whispering Dead, which I read that book. I believe I give it four, four and a half stars. Check out Goodreads as always. Um, this is the sequel to it. Uh, with it being a sequel, I don't want to really spoil anything about the first book, but obviously there's a sequel involved. Um... We will be having a podcast episode with Aaron Megan, uh, which we'll be having out, uh, not, it, we'll have it out eventually, but we pretty much talked about Darcy Coates for a good solid chunk of that podcast episode, so be on the lookout for that with Aaron Megan, pretty cool, thank you for joining me on that talk, Aaron. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to get to this book, I'm trying to go into it blind because that's what I typically do with Darcy Coates books, um, she's just been a very good author for me and she's worked pretty much nine times out of ten. Uh, so I'm very excited to get to this one, uh, The Ravenous Dead, the sequel to The Whispering Dead. All right, so the next book up is the book that I'm currently reading, that is The Overnight Guest by Heather Gutenkopf. So this book so far has been pretty solid. I will be having this in the recent reads once I, once I finish it and read another book or two. Uh, I'll be able to talk about it more in detail in that video. Uh, pretty much so far, this is about a woman who is in this cabin um, in the woods, and this, in it's the middle of winter, there's like a bad blizzard, and this little boy just stumbles across, like, the house, and he's out in the snow, like, dying, she takes him in, uh, it's told in two timelines, the other timeline is, uh, many years earlier, uh, in the same house, there's like a murder that took place in the house, um, and it's pretty much involving the brother, so it's a family, the dad's kind of a dick to the son, the mom's just kind of like, man, whatever, and then the daughter, uh, at the time of the event, had a best friend over, and the daughter uh, is the one who has survived, and I'm about halfway through the book here, so pretty solid book so far. I'm very excited to see how they link the timelines together. Um, I, I'm just excited to see how it goes. But yeah, very good book so far. The Overnight Guest, Heather Gutenkopf. All right, next up is a list of four books that were sent to me by publishers. Um, the first one is Burn the Plans by Tyler Jones. Um, this book, I don't know a whole lot about this one, but by what I can tell by the back, it sounds pretty intriguing. Um, a collection featuring 15 tales of supernatural suspense, grotesque government experiments, a remote viewer who blurs past and future, a crate that contains ancient evil and bloodthirsty machines are all part of the world in which these stories take place. So it sounds very intriguing. This cover looks really cool. I believe this is being released in, I think it's in April. 
it's, it's, it's being released, I think, soon. But yeah, thanks for Cemetery Gates for sending me this book, uh, Cemetery Gates Media. Uh, they actually sent me one of these other ones, too, which I will get to in a moment. Um, but I'm very excited to get to this because it actually sounds pretty intriguing. Kind of sounds like like a Stephen King kind of like short story collection kind of deal. So we'll see how it goes and maybe I'll have it in a video. So there you have Burn the Plans by Tyler Jones. Next one up is a book sent from Celadon. Uh, and it is called Unmasked, My Life Solving America's Cold Cases by Paul Holes with Robin Gabby Fisher. So this is being released in April. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but uh, it says from the detective who found the Golden State Killer, a memoir of investigating America's toughest cold cases and the rewards and toll of a life solving crime. So it sounds pretty intriguing. Uh, I want to say, I mean, I haven't read anything by, I mean, obviously I haven't because it's, you know, like memoirs and stuff like that. Uh, but it sounds cool, especially like the whole like murdering, like, being a detective and finding like you know a cold case being discovered and figured out um danielle and i listened to a bunch of podcasts about like cases that you know have gone very cold but like kind of seem like there's some obvious answers going on um but yeah this is something that does sound like it's up danielle and i's alley so uh yeah there you have unmasked by paul holes and the last two i got were sent from minotaur um, the first one is The Shadow House by Anna Downs, um, author of The Safe Place. This is a book that, that's a book that I think Danielle read and she liked it. Um, she gave it four stars. This says, a house with deadly secrets, a mother who will risk everything to bring them to light. Uh, I am very excited to get to this one because Danielle said she really enjoyed the one book she read by this author. Um, but I am very excited with this cover too. It looks kind of eerie with like the house in the background. And it just, it sounds intriguing. So I will be getting to this at some point soon. Uh, so thank you Minotaur Books for sending this one as well as. This next one is questionable for me, but I'm going to go into this one blind. And that is The Resting Place by Camilla Sten. So as you guys know, the first book that I read from this author, the only other book I think she has out, the Lost Village was a train wreck. Um, I am not the only one who thinks that. I am willing to give this author another chance. Um, so I'm going to be going into this blind because when I went into The Lost Village, I had such high hopes. It sounded so good, and it kind of fell flat. So I'm going to go into this one blind. Um, again, this is a book that was sent by Minotaur Books, and I'm very happy to have gotten this. The cover looks really cool, and I, again... I'm willing to give uh, Camilla Stein another chance. We'll see what happens. Uh, I did the same thing with Alex North. Didn't like the first book. Gave the second one a try. Comes out of the third one. Maybe I'll give him a third chance. But uh, yeah, The Resting Place by Camilla Sten. All right, so these are the books that were sent to me or that I've gotten lately that I'm excited about. All these are recent releases. I'm very excited to get to them. Again, we will have the podcast linked down below. Gabby episode coming out on Monday. Very excited about it. If you want a sneak preview. We'll have that link down below as well. Um, but yeah, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And make sure you let me know in the comments what you've gotten lately that you're excited about. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Later. Later.